Hey, series! Welcome to the beginning of my reactions to Magi Revo? Is that what we call this now? What do we call this? The Magical Revolution of the Reincarnated Princess and the Genius Young Lady. Okay, so this won the poll to replace 86, and I believe this is completely and utterly different from 86 because, first of all, it's an isekai, and um, I haven't watched an isekai in a long time. I think. It's technically not an isekai because I'm watching the Megumin uh, Konosuba spin-off right now. So, not on the channel because I decided not to. <laughs> because uh, a friend wanted to watch it with me, so yeah. Um, other than that, uh, let me just check if it is an isekai. It is an isekai. I'm currently at the mile page. Uh, the lane attack is, is over. <laughs> the lane attack is very fresh in our minds. When uh, everything, they, they changed all of the titles of... All the anime on my anime list to let all love lane. So I freaking love serial experiments lane, but don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Um, uh, this has girls love in it, which is great because uh, I'm into some Yuri right now and also some fantasy elements. Okay. Um, I don't want to read the synopsis, I don't want to know anything about it. And it's an isekai. I looked up uh, already through the staff listing without looking, at, of course, at the freaking what's it called the character section because sometimes there's spoilers in the characters like freaking uh i don't know from my hero academia like uh hawks's real name is shown there <laughs> that's actually a spoiler that's actually a spoiler if you know the hawks's real name it's a spoiler but um other than that i don't know anyone in the staff listings i i'm not familiar with any of their works um maybe i'm familiar with some some songs performances but I, I'm not sure. But a director and key animators and stuff, most of them have question marks as profile photos. So uh, they only have very few uh, works under their belts. So hopefully this is like for this is like this became like an up made them up and coming like rising stars of the production of anime. Um, maybe I don't know. Or it's a shitty isekai. I don't believe it's a shitty isekai though. Because uh, I this was requested over on my Patreon. I'm really gonna talk about the Patreon later. But um, this was then voted the most by like a few votes. It's like six, six votes, but it's it make, it's actually a, a lot because there's only 13 patrons. <laughs> so six votes is actually a big deal. And then there were only seven votes in total on the poll. So that's the thing. Okay, let's look at this. Uh, let's look at freaking what is this called? Dio Midea. Dogs are barking, sorry about that. But Dio Midea, this is the studio that, that did all this. No outsourcing, no outsourcing, okay. Uh, they did the Squid Girl, which I never watched, but it looked interesting, like it looks cute. But uh, nothing to say about how they can handle an isekai. Um, they did, what is this? They did another isekai called Mondaji Tachi something something. Dogs are barking, sorry about that. But um, uh, what is this? Uh, sorry, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. What was I talking about? Uh, basically, um, I just want to say that uh, a marching band came by and all the dogs were like, Arr! so yeah. Let's let's not talk about that. Let's talk about the show. I don't know what to say because, as I said, not, not uh, what is this? Problem children. Oh, I've heard of this. The problem children. I heard that it's a pretty decent easy guy. For the most part. Um, let's see what else they have. Isekai Yakyoku. A lot of Isekai stuff. Um, so they have experience with Isekai, so that's good. They made Kodomo no Jikan. Mm. <laughs> I haven't watched it, I've seen clips of it. And it's, um, I'm pretty sure this is the Pedo one. <laughs> the one where, um, uh, uh, the elementary schoolers are like seducing their teacher. I'm pretty sure that's the one. So that's interesting. Kantai Collection, I've heard of it because of N Hentai, of course. But I don't really know that much about it besides boats. So, um, anything else? Beatless. I don't know what that is. Gyarlish number. I don't know what that is. That's a low score though. Uh, Kodomo no Jika and Aho Girl. I hated Aho Girl. <laughs> Sorry, I just want to say that right now. I did not like Aho Girl. I watched one episode of it and I did not find it funny in the slightest. 
<laughs> Sorry. It's definitely just... It's, it's not bad, it's just definitely isn't for me. Because I can definitely see people liking it because of the kind of comedy that it is, but it is exactly the kind of comedy they don't like. Okay, next thing I want to look at. Um, date of release. Whoa! January 4, 2023 and it just finished on March. This is recent. This is recent. I did. We're watching a recent anime. Let's go. Um, Winter 2023, of course. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I want to look at at the mouth page now. I think we're done there. Next thing we're going to do is talk about some housekeeping stuff. So, I'd gone, I've gone and downloaded the Judas Rip because it has the most seeds and Judas hasn't really let me down, ironically enough, because Judas is, you know, the disciple that lets everyone, you know what I mean. But anyways, um, yeah, I've, I've downloaded that and the reason why I use torrented versions and watch it on DLC is because sometimes I like to frame by frame things and you can't really do that on most streaming services and the second reason is because I tried recording on streaming services before and they buffer because our internet is shit. <laughs> so it's not shit anymore. It's pretty bad, but it's not shit anymore. So other than that, the, the, other than that, those are the only reasons. Okay. Uh, next thing, um, Patreon. So Patreon exists if you want early access to the show. I how many episodes does this have? Oh yes. Something uh, like a core, a course worth. So, um, yeah, I, I probably will watch one episode of this a week, hopefully without fail, <laughs> hopefully. But um, I'm gonna watch one episode of this a week. And uh, if you want early access to that, it's going to be like a week early access for everything. You can do that with Patreon link below. The second tier, which is only for $3, is gonna have that. And if you use the $1 tier, then it's uh, literally just the vote on polls and stuff. And uh, five dollars is just if you want to. <laughs> There's a few people that have done the five dollars stuff, so I decided just to keep it at five dollars. So yeah, I'm not asking for much, but also if you don't have anything to give, I don't care. You, it doesn't matter. Just watch my videos; that would really help out. That's why I'm doing this so people can see it, people can watch it, people can criticize me for it. Yeah, let's not do the last bit. <laughs> but uh, other than that, yeah, um, polls exist. I don't know if there's a poll up right now by the time this airs because I'm pretty sure the first one is gonna be over for uh, for a poll for so so we have a poll to replace it would be Cowboy Bebop which uh, I don't th think it's over yet so <laughs> by the time this airs I mean yeah other than that anything else oh yeah I always do full versions of reactions so that would mean that I do two versions of that full version. First is the PIP, which most people watch. It's in the description. One over on BitChute and one over on Breach. I used to do it on Mega, but I realized that I need an account to keep everything up, up and running over on Mega. After a while, it's gonna be disappearing. So now I only put them on BitChute and Breach. If somehow I'm able to make what I do here a living, I'm gonna make it so that I also have it on Mega or some kind of drive. So yeah, anything else? Uh, so that PIP will not have this intro bit and the PIP will also not have the discussions at the end. As I said, I sometimes I like to frame by frame things whenever there's really neat animation bits in the show. And sometimes, um, and sometimes I just like to talk about stuff like usually very related to the show, but sometimes not related at all. But uh, if you want to hear me ramble on, I, I think I say some interesting, interesting things sometimes. Very rarely, but you will find those. <laughs> but um, other than that, there's the timer-based version. So the reason why the PIP does not have the intro and uh, discussion is because uh, BitChute doesn't let you upload really big files and I need to make it smaller. So that's the reason why I do it. And then um, the timer-based version will basically be um, this. This is what you're watching right now, and then there's like, a, I put like a 5 second countdown right here, and it's gonna go toot 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 And at the last toot is the same frame my video starts playing on the screen. So, I think we're just gonna watch this. I don't know what to expect, except it's an isekai. And there's a magical revolution of some kind, and there's a genius, I don't know. The title says a lot, actually, now that I think about it. So, okay, I'm sorry for this weird intro. Uh, my brain was kind of shaked, shook, because of, uh, of the marching band that came by and I had to pause the recording. So, this is it. I'm just gonna do my usual spiel of 
There's gonna be two versions of this reaction video, a picture in picture version which you can find in the description below and a time-based version which you are watching right now. If you want to sync up your image to the time-based version, you can do that with a 5 second countdown, it's gonna count down from 5 because that's what they do. And it's yours the same thing, my videos are playing on my screen. Timer will go here. Come here, come here. Okay, I have my fidget cube ready to go. Lady running with a broom. Probably a witch. Oh, of course she trips. It's episode one, right? Yeah, it is episode one, okay. Just making sure. I messed up that like two times already while making videos. <laughs> eh? She's smiling. Don't bother. Oh, very noble of you. What? What? Oh, she has a blade. That's cool. Oh, that's a long blade. Woo! The way we did the blood was really interesting. That's a lot of blood. It's gonna be gory. Ha <laughs> uh. She's also a dojiko. <laughs> Is it intentional? It doesn't look intentional. Okay. Plundering princess of the hunt. Marauder princess. Ah, okay, that's kind of fun. Ooh, that's pretty. Hmm. Win win. Oh, because she's from a different world. Win. They don't know what win win means. Okay. I'm a magician that cuts people up. You're full of blood. <laughs> You're covered in blood. She's definitely full of blood. She's a human being. But still. Nice. That's badass. That deserves a smoke. Oh, she can't use magic. That's interesting. The magical revolution and blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, yeah, the title. Title. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alice What ah. <laughs> Divi <laughs> Let's go! 
I think I love her already. I'm not so sure, but I think. <laughs> Yeah, hide. That's what it is. <laughs> Just hide. <laughs> Magicology. Matako. <laughs> mm. Two ways to look at it. Oh, he's mad. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. What? 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 Is her ability similar to that guy in Konosuba? The guy that just can create magical things? Like jumping off a building. <laughs> and you helped her. Of course. Okay, I love the facial expressions. Oh, she's still gonna. F oh my god. Very classy table. Censoring it. It's just a tuny. That's what she's saying. TT. Oh no, tilty. Oh yeah. The way she talks is great. She's not classy in the slightest. I like this girl. Very gothic. <laughs> A little addictive. <laughs> Crazy equals genius. It isn't. So we have magic in this world, but no one can fly. By the end of this episode, you can fly. I'm just guessing. Ah. I love her face here. That's great. Yeah. 
I love her voice actress too. Oh, at least you can, sort of. <laughs> Let's make it more dangerous. In a way. Yep, in every way. Ha! Kawaii. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Whoa! White hair! Favorite character? Because white hair? You remember, you liar. Her outfit looks like indexes. <laughs> it's be mostly because of the hair as well. Like, right behind here, not the front part. I have no notes. I have... Brother is uh, flirting with another woman. Of course. Classes. We're gonna get your heart broken. And we're gonna go crazy. Look at those eyes. She's gonna go crazy. What that? Cakey? Little dessert thingy. Ah, so she understands that it's political. Gotcha. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. That's it. I like that line. It's kind of the thing with geniuses, they're not good at that for the most part. Especially if it's like academically, like if you're really smart. But a lot of times it's harder to understand social cues like that. But if uh, she actually likes you, dude. Uh, I kind of don't want that to be a thing because he's a douche. 
Not a douche. He's a brat. That is heavy. He doesn't care. Or he does care, doesn't want to be involved. <laughs> Leave a like! Ni <laughs> Woo! Nice. From your previous life, yeah. And it's done. Oh, it's going faster. Oh, that's the rumor? That's not the right... Ah, uh, okay. Frick. Oh, what a dick. Like, at least don't show it off. <laughs> You're not really changing anything. Uh, I have, I have so many notes now. <laughs> oh, so, okay, so you're trying to say this. Okay, good. Hello, hello, hello. So oh, there's, oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> ha! That's what a dick. Um, what did she do? Are you sure? It's not gonna happen. It's a revolution! Was she? I don't think this is true. You're being shield hero, bitch. Sorry. <laughs> Is 
You can't say anything. And Annie's crashes into the party. Sorry. <laughs> was I right? Oh my god, I was right. I was joking. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> Nice ass. Sorry. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> At the worst time possible. <laughs> Her face. <laughs> did you do you get Ah, you caught on. Nice. That actually happens. Oh, <laughs> uh, I like that shot. Her eyes uh watering up. I shall be your bride. Don't tell me I'm right. Oh my god. Oh, okay, she didn't say what I said, so. Close it up, I think. Let's run away together. Okay, it's not it's not exactly what I said. Nice. <laughs> I love this. Oh yeah, there was girls love in the tags. I love those lines. Let's let's go through that again. The story of the revolution. Ah! Oh <laughs> 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 Hell yeah! That's all about this episode. That was great! <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I'm just gonna be perfectly honest with you. I thought I wouldn't like the first episode. I think, I thought that uh, at some point I'm just gonna be like hooked into it, like maybe two or three episodes in. Or because um, it's kind of the thing that usually happens with me when it comes to fantasy shows, or specifically more uh, isekai shows, or isekai oriented shows, like, I don't know. I don't know. Or sometimes I just don't like it in general. Like fantasy isekai specifically, I have a bad history of fantasy isekai, <laughs> and uh, or just fantasy shows that are focused exactly on the fantasy elements and everything. Like uh, I'm gonna give an example, probably the most popular fantasy show that I did not like at all, even though I finished the first season of, is Danmachi. I did not like Danmachi at all, but I found I found it kind of enthralling in a weird way. Like I always I saw myself just kind of watching it even though I didn't like it that much but for the most part it all stems from the fact that uh, I just couldn't care about the characters and a lot of the times it's mostly because it's about a power fantasy so I don't like power fantasies I think the only power fantasy that I like are ones where they actually make fun of the fact that it's a power fantasy so <laughs> this is not that this is something special, and I'm gonna talk about it a bit more in a bit because I need to pee. We're back.
So, it's all about this episode. That was super fun. I want to go through the bit where uh, they talk, the narrator starts talking. I just want to see if I read that right. Welcome to Journey Through the Night. The story about to hear about two young girls from a certain kingdom. The story of a princess who loved magic more than anyone else, but whom magic did not love in return. That's such a nice way to put that. The story of a noble lady who was born with everything but had nothing. The story of their revolution. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> I did not expect to be this invested. First of all, I do enjoy the fact that we are going to focus on these two characters. Not just that, but a romantic focus on these two characters? That's great. Because let's say, let's be real, there's some Yuri in say, Gundam the Witch from Mercury. There's Yuri in that, right? But it's mostly, even though the characters are engaged, they're literally no no means of actually saying that they have a relationship like that. It's more like they're just really good friends who happen to have an arrangement that is very beneficial to both of them. So, this one, I get the feeling, hopefully at least, we're gonna get some actual romance. And um, it is very romantic. Like, uh, I do love the fact that our main character, Anis, I believe her name is, is very romantic in such a way that not just the... Uh, the what's the word for it? The 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 the, the like the, the uh, love kind of romantic kind of way, but the more roman as they put it in Japanese, where she's literally just uh, her idea, her whole character arc. This entire episode is the desire to fly, and it's like she finds romance in it, and it's great. So it just fits very well that she's gonna take away someone that has never had anything that she wanted, and then suddenly take her to some faraway place, metaphorically, and then actually grow as people. Now, I said that I would love it if there was actual Yuri in this, but even if it, there's not, even if, if our two main characters, I'm assuming there are two main characters, even if they just kind of grow as characters, I would love that as well because, I don't know, it's just a really good setup for this, for this whole thing. Uh, let's talk about the brother. The brother is interesting to me because I kind of get where he's coming from because it feels very similar to how... What's her face? I forgot her name, wow. Uh, the white-haired girl. <laughs> the, the lady. Uh, she's, she has very similar circumstances where they're born with everything, they're royalty basically, and then a nobility, and then at some point they just realize that they have nothing that they want. Like they have everything that other people would have wanted, but they have themselves not anything that they have desired. And therefore, they have very different approaches as to how they would handle their lives. Because uh, Anis's girl, I'm gonna look at her name. Uh, where is it? Euphelia. Euphelia? Euphelia. Isn't that, uh, isn't that, uh, the name of a, of a, another princess in Code Geass. <laughs> I think so, I don't know. Um, Euphelia seems to have been very passive because of it. She's just accepted her fate that she's gonna be married off for political gain and uh, she, there's nothing she can do about it. Whereas, um, which is a, not a very good thing to do because you know, you can change things. You, you can incite a revolution within yourself and within your family that's why they're your family you can change you can change their minds and then we get an even worse idea from al i'm just gonna call him al because uh, i forgot his full name but uh the uh Anis's brother al was like he's gonna try to do something it's, it's almost as if he's purposefully making the most offensive th things that would not offensive but the most the thing that would hurt his father or his family the most. Like that's why he chose someone who used to be a commoner. <laughs> it, it almost feels like it's, it's like a, what's the word? <laughs> it's intentionally uh, just petty. That, that's the word, it's intentionally petty where I'm gonna marry off this commoner, I'm gonna say all this stuff because I want there to be a change. But he's not doing it in the right way, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, there's no, there's a certain sense of anger and just just 
very juvenile rebellion in it where I get the feeling that even though it's both uh, not a very good ways to handle the circumstances they're in I would appreciate uh, a bit my tongue <laughs> I would appreciate Euphilia's uh, approach a bit more anyways uh, let's go to the beginning this is a very weird uh, I'm not going to this chronologically today because I really like the ending bits. But let's go to the beginning now. It's bloody. I did not expect that. I hope it's like a thing later on because uh, something in a few shows that I've watched. Uh, let's give an example. Shield Hero. <laughs> Shield Hero used at the beginning was a lot darker. Apparently, it's a lot darker, even more in the manga and the light novels. But, um, and I gave it like a 5 because it's not very good. <laughs> but, um, I'm just reminded of it based on the fact that, uh, there's a very trigger happy person killing a bunch of monsters. I'm reminded of that. And then there's a lot of blood. And then later on, there's not enough blood, and not enough, but not a lot of blood anymore, which makes it me think that it's just there for shock value, which is okay to have but it's completely unnecessary like it gives you the wrong impression as the audience so i don't know how i feel about having this and then later on just having very romantic escapade with uh, euphilia maybe at some point we're gonna fight more monsters but again it seems that the main focus of the show is the pursuits of the revolution between uh anis and euphilia which seems to not involve monster fighting or monster hunting so i don't know how that's gonna go into play come into play um okay we learn about anis a bit more later about the fact that she can't use magic and apparently nobility or royalty can use magic but she can't for some reason and i believe that that reason is because she came from another world we we already got that that line where she was like uh I can finally fulfill my dream that I had back in my old life. So we know that she's probably, she's definitely from another world and probably reincarnated. So, yep. Um, I also like the fact that she's not OP. <laughs> Again, power fantasies are a thing and I don't like them that much. But I, but even the ones where like Isekai that aren't power fantasies but uh, have elements where it's like uh, the main character is OP. Uh, an example I can give is like uh, the saga of Tiny the Evil. Like, I wouldn't consider that a power fantasy because I don't think people really like thinking about being <laughs> not only tortured but uh, punished by God himself for being a shitty human being and in a different life. So, yeah. <laughs> But uh, it fits it really well. But this is interesting to me because she's not at all OP. Like even in shows like Shield Hero again, where uh, our Shield Hero boy uh, is really weak at the start, but then later he, he gets cheats. Like the, his anger turns him kind of really powerful. And Iron Maiden, and then uh, I do like that move. I, I don't know why, but I really like that move. But um, she's not any of those things. Again, Shield Hero is in Power Fantasy, in my opinion. But um, she's not any of those things. She's just a person who happens to be Genki and uh, is, wants to experience magic. And that's a great, great start for a character. Like, um, like uh, if you have just like the draft of the character, that's just a great way to do it. Like when... <sighs> I don't know. I do like this maid. She's very cool. To actually help her out a lot. Also, boob shots, right? Side boobs. Um, we get to meet some characters, so I don't think I'm gonna remember the names of the the royal people. But uh, there's the there's the maid, which I'm just gonna call redhead maid, and then there's the goth lolly. It's not really a lolly, but it's a goth lolita. So, um. Okay, and one, another thing I want to talk about. Another thing I want to talk about. Um, facial expressions. Their facial expressions are very... expressive. <laughs> um, something that I noticed in the crappier kind of... Um, not just easy guy, but again, power fantasy 
fantasy anime. Um, it's it's um they don't really have that much expressiveness in the way they the way they emote, and uh, I think that what the biggest thing that helps is the fact that whenever Anis makes an imp- expression, she actually there's actually bits of animation like frames of animation where she changes from one expression to another or just actual movement from everything for not everything but from her body and that it actually helps accentuate the uh, the way she looks her face so that's really helpful uh, a lot of shows don't do that i forgot the names of the shows that i'm trying to think of right now but i know what they look like in my head it doesn't help because i can't tell you but i know how they look like and uh if you go to my anime list, there's a few shows up there. You'll notice which ones I gave like a one or a two or something like that. Okay. Sorry, fantasies like flying. Wait, fantasies, what? Another thing I want to point out about this isekai is that um, it uh, it's not very... What's the word for it? It doesn't just copy what other things, what other shows do. Even though it technically sort of still does a few of those cliches, like um, she's really good with a blade. No, that's not it. That's not really because again, the OP thing isn't really her. It's the fact that her blade is really strong, um, and it's a gift from parents. I forgot which one. Um, interesting. And another thing, there. What am I thinking of? I'm gonna slap myself. Hopefully, this makes me think of the sentence I'm thinking of. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, oh, mm. that's some flim. Anyways, so um, something that a lot of isekai do is that they just assume that you know everything about the world already because it's basically the same world. We don't do that here. We don't do that here. We don't get the oh, we're just adventurers in the guild or whatever. It's, just, it's literally a main focal point of the freaking characters and that's really good because what i usually find in isekai the generic ones of course is that um it's a power fantasy that you watch because you finish the last power fantasy that you just watch and you want something more something similar and you want to experience the same thing over again and this is and because of that it mainly focuses on the on the fact that you kill not kill and the fact that you're strong and that there's a world that you have to explore. And this one, we focus intent- intently on our, the characters, which makes it completely different from all those shows because instead of, oh, I'm the generic Sundere, ha <laughs> ha, oh, look, I'm gonna trip and fall, ha <laughs> ha. No, even though she trips and fell, falls all the time, it's not really, it's not really the same thing. We're actually focusing on character growth and character arcs instead of, just the world being a world that you explore because you're bored of your life and you want something to fill that void because the last thing that you watched filled that void and now you're gonna watch something similar as I said so that's really interesting is this okay there's a few isekai that comes to mind when it comes to character heavy character focus heavy shows and the biggest one that I can think of right off the bat is actually ReZero which I've not watched the season two of. I, should, I, should I watch that? Sure. I've watched season one already. I've been spoiled about something <laughs> because my friend was like, uh, nah, I don't know. I don't want to talk about that. But basically, my friend just immediately spoiled me when I went. We were basically watching an episode of a completely different show, and she, he was like, oh, that's exactly what happens in ReZero season two. And he was like, oh, you haven't watched that. <laughs> that's exactly what happened. So, <laughs> yeah. And that's why ReZero is such a highly acclaimed isekai, even though it is an isekai. It's just a highly acclaimed show because it focuses a lot on the character growth. Another thing I want to talk about is the art. I love the art here. It's really vibrant and fun. Um, <laughs> yeah. They talked about the hair at some point. Is, is, he, is he a commoner equals uh, black hair? Is that, a, is that a thing? Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about something because of the hair that I mentioned. They mentioned that um, she doesn't hide the fact that she's royalty because she doesn't 
doesn't hide the fact that her hair is blonde. That's really interesting. I like the fact that they have respect for her as well. Like, pure respect for her. It's also very interesting that um, she's... Oh! I think I've got something really interesting to talk about. The idea I was talking about earlier where both Al and Euphelia are, are, um, have the same circumstances. To a, to a certain extent, you could say the same thing with Anis because she's of the same household as Al. And that would mean that, specifically with the fact that she can't even use magic, that's even worse. But she was able to find her tribe, basically, in the fact that uh, the adventurers have full respect for her. So, I think that's the right move, is that you have to find yourself and uh, separate yourself in such a way from, uh, from your family if they are... If they separate your identity from your family instead of just uh, obeying whatever it is that they say. So, I think I'm done. I think I'm done ranting about random things that I like about this show. This one episode of the show so far. I like this a lot. Like, <laughs> I did not expect to like this this much. But here we are. Here we are. Is it too glary? Is, it, is there too much light? I should have fixed my lights first, huh? Anyways, um, we're probably only going to be doing one episode of this a week. And uh, if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion a week earlier than everyone else, you can do that with a big link below. Would really help out. You don't have to, but if you can, that would mean the world to me. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, all the fun stuff, and bye.